Hello, this is Nicholas from ST Microelectronics. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the ST Infra2 CubeID 2.0 that was released recently. So one key change is that the ST Infra2 CubeMX and the ST Infra2 CubeID are now offered as separate standalone tools. In fact, many users have already been working with these tools independently for years. To understand the reasons behind the shift, please check out the details article linked in the video description. In this tutorial, we'll guide you through the workflow for using stm 2 CubeMX and stm 2 CubeID together in standalone mode. In the stm 2 CubeID 1.x version, like the 1.19.0 for example, the stm 2 CubeMX was integrated. In the stm 2 CubeID 2.x version, like the 2.0.0 that was released, the CubeMX is separated. Starting with the stm 2 CubeID 2.0.0, the workflow is to start a project using the stm 2 CubeMX. So this is what I did here, and uh, this is my project. So this is stm 2 CubeMX. I have a project for a Nucleo U385, and this is a demonstration code that I created. So now you want to go to Project Manager, select the toolchain stm 2 CubeIDE, then give a name to your project. So my stm 2 project. And now you can generate the code. This is just a warning, so click Yes. Our stm 2 CubeIDE project is now generated. So you can see how it looks. We're going to open the folder. So this is the location where it's going to be generated. And this is the structure of your stm 2 CubeID project. Now, what we're going to do is import the project using the stm 2 CubeID. So I am here in stm 2 CubeID. This is the version 2.0.0. And what we're going to do to import the project is you're going to go to File, and then STM32 Project Create Import. So this will open this window right here. And what we want to do is import STM32 Project, so the STM32 CubeMX, STM32 CubeID Project. So select this, and then click Next. Now you're going to give the path. So the directory where you created a project. So in my case, I created my project here. It recognized the project right here. And now you can click Finish. The project was imported successfully. We can now close this Information tab, so Information Center tab, to look at the project right there. So this is the project that has been imported. At this point, what we can do is you can build your project. So, you know, you have this icon built here, or you can go project and build also. So, but I'm going to use this icon right here. Let's build the project. All right, our project is now built successfully. Zero errors, zero warnings, so fantastic. And of course, if you have a board connected, you can enter a debug session. So, using this icon, for example, right here. And I can execute my code. It's running correctly. Very good. I can terminate. Now let's imagine that we want to make some modification inside our stm 2 CubeMX project. So we are going back to stm 2 CubeMX. And let's say, for example, that we want to enable I2C communication. So I'm enabling my I2C. The I2C is now configured and the pin has been assigned. Let's save the project and we're going to generate the code again. Same thing, yes. The updated code has been generated. So this is the version with the I2C that we just added. So we can close that. And what we want to do, go back to your stm 2 cube ID from there and you're going to update the project. So to do this, you can do a refresh or F5. So let's do this. 
And now, what we should see is, as you can see, the I2C1 has been added as expected, and all the code that we just you know, configured in uh, Kubemx, that has been added. So this shows you how to create and update a project for stinfra 2 kubeid 2.0.0. As you saw, the workflow is a little bit different from you know, the previous versions where Kubemx was integrated. So now you have to start with the SMPD Kubemx. Thank you very much for watching.